Yo, what's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to get all of these modded outfits. And if you do go on to enjoy, I would appreciate it if you could leave a like down below, as it helps out massively. Also, if you haven't already, please go down below and subscribe. According to YouTube, 70% of you are not subscribed, so uh, if you could just check to see if you are subscribed, uh, that would mean a lot. And if you aren't, please subscribe. Uh, we're on the road to 100k, so... If you want to help me get there, feel free, but at the end of the day, it is up to you, so if you don't want to, you don't have to. And a quick shout out to these people on screen now for commenting, hashtag TJRH, on my last video. Also, if you guys are in need of money in GTA 5, be sure to check out Digizani, as they do offer cheap, fast and reliable cash and rank services. So if you want this, check out the link in the description, and don't forget to use my code TJRH for 5% off your order. And without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So the first thing you want to do is come to any clothing store. And you want to make sure you have at least this much in your bank. Now by doing this glitch, it will delete all your saved outfits. So you want to equip one outfit you would like to keep. And that one will stay after doing the glitch. From here, you can either delete all your saved outfits yourself. Or by doing a the glitch, they will get deleted either way. Once you've done so, you want to open up your pause menu and go to online swap character. And by the way, for this glitch to work, you will need your main character to be in slot 1. And it also needs to be a male or else this will not work for you. And I'll make a new female character in slot 2. And in this menu, you want to make sure it is a female. And hit save and continue, name it anything, it doesn't matter. And once you take the picture, you should load it into a public session. And then once you load in, enable passive mode so no can mess you up whilst you're doing a glitch. And you want to open up your map and see if you have any clothing stores. If you do, go to one, but if you do not, just find a new session and they will appear. Now, once you made it to a clothing store, go inside. And you want to go to the accessories menu at the back of the store. And you want to remove any accessories that come with your outfit, so most standard outfits do come with earrings. And you want to make sure you take those off. However, if you do notice you have any other accessories, uh, you want to make sure you remove those. Now, I'll skip to when I've made the outfit, so this video isn't too long. However, I'll still go in depth and show you what to equip. So the first outfit is going to consist of two different outfits on the female. And this one is a checkered one. So for this, you want to go to gloves. And equip the light woodland tactical gloves, which should be these ones. And then after you equip these, all you want to do is go into shoes. And on this, go down to high heels and equip the charcoal platforms. So it should be these ones, the charcoal platforms. And then after you equip these, go over to pants. Now on this you want to go into jeans, and on jeans equip these ones which should be the black cropped jeans. And after you equip these, all you want to do is go into tops, which should be behind you, and you want to head down to bust ears, and equip the camo bust ear. So once you equip this, all you want to do is go to the front desk and save this outfit. Now make sure you save this one to slot number 2, and name it the same as I name it. So you want to make sure you name uh, all these outfits the same as I do. Uh, so it won't confuse you later and also makes you save them in order and now for the second outfit for the checkered one uh, all you want to do is keep those shoes and the gloves the same and you want to head over to pants and this time go into sports pants and equip the first ones which should be the spotted muscle pants and after you do so go into tops and you want to head down to work jackets and equip the peach camo closed field and then after you equip those, you want to go down to tuck t-shirts. And equip the blue digital t-shirt, uh, which should be number 75. And after this, you want to go into glasses. And this is optional, you do not have to equip this, unless you want to check about glasses. And equip the uh, casual glasses, the copper marbles, which should be number 22. And after you do so, you want to go to hats. And this is for the checkerboard hat. And you want to go into canvas hats, 
Then equip the second to last, which will be the grey plate canvas hat. Then after you equip that, all you want to do is go to the front desk and make sure you save this outfit in slot number 3. And of course, name it the same as I do. And that should be both the checkerboard outfits complete. Now we're moving on to the galaxy one, which also consists of two outfits on the female. So for the first one, you want to go two pants. And you want to go into jeans and equip the black crop jeans. Once you equip those, you want to back out of the menu and go on two tops. Then on tops, go on two leather bomber jackets and equip the multicolor SN leather clothes, which should be this one. And after you do so, you want to go to shoes. And by the way, keep the hat and glasses on and the gloves on. And on shoes, go on to high heel boots and equip the deluxe midnight combat boots. Which should be these ones. And after you equip these, all you want to do is go save the outfit. And it makes you save this to slot number 4. Now for the second galaxy outfit, all you want to do is go on two tops. And go down to work jackets. And equip the peach camo closed field. And once you equip this, you want to go down to tuck t-shirts. And equip the blue digital t-shirt. Uh, so this should be the same as earlier. Number 75. And by the way, keep the hat and glasses on. And also make sure you equip the deluxe midnight combat boots. And then once you do this, go save the outfit. And you want to save this one to slot number 5. And name it the same as I do. And that's the galaxy outfit's done, so now we're moving on to the black joggers uh, with the trash vest. Now for the first one, all you want to do is go on two pants and also keep the gloves the same and on pants you want to go on to utility pants and equip the black battle pants which should be these ones and once you equip those back out and you want to go on two tops and on tops go on two tucked t-shirts and you want to equip the black classic so it should be number 11 then after you equip that, go up to Denim Jacket. And equip the Distressed Denim Jacket. And that should be this outfit done. And by the way, you want to remove the hat and glasses for this one. And then go save this outfit to slot number 6. Now for the second outfit, you want to go on two shoes. And on shoes, you want to go into boots and equip the chocolate slack boots. So it should be these ones. Then after you equip those, you want to go to, over to pants. And on this, go into sports pants and equip the first ones. Then after you equip these, you want to go into tops. And then on tops, go down to party tank tops and equip the first one. And after you equip the first one, uh, you want to go up to Tactical Jackets. And equip the last one. So equip this one. And then after you do so, you want to go save this outfit. And save this to slot number 7. Anyway, that's the Black Joker's outfit done. Uh, now for the White Tron one. All you want to do for the first one is go to Gloves. And then on gloves, you want to equip the Refuse Collector gloves. And then after you equip these, you want to head over to Pants. And on this, go into Utility Pants. And equip the Cream Knee Pad cargos. And after you equip those, you want to go on two tops. And go down to work jackets and equip the peach camo closed field. 
And after you equip this, you want to go down to uh, gun running t-shirts. And on this, equip the last one, which should be the blue digital t-shirt. And that's just one done, so you want to go save it in slot number 8. Now for the next outfit, all you want to do is go on to shoes. And then on shoes, go on to boots. And you want to equip the red cowboy boots. And after you equip those, you want to go to, over to pants. And on this, go on to sports pants. And equip the first ones. And that's it for this last outfit, so you want to go save it. And save it in slot number 9. And that is all the outfits complete, so I'm going to go over them and just make sure all your outfits are the same as these. From here, open up your interaction menu and take the easy way out to force the game to save. And once you respawn, you want to open up your pause menu and go to online and you want to start creator. And once you load in, make a new land race. And you want to fill in the race details so the title, description and photo do not matter and they can be anything. However, you want to set a maximum players to 3 and set a route type to point to point. And also, if you want to make this process a little bit quicker, uh, you can choose a supercar. And after you do so, open up your map and you want to warp to the airport. And this is so you can make a straight line race. And once you're over here, place the trigger anywhere, it doesn't matter. And then take a photo of anything for the lobby camera. Now from it, make sure you place checkpoints until the race is at least one mile long, as if it isn't, it will not allow you to test it. And once you have done so, you want to test the race. Now after you've done so, you should get this alert, so you want to accept this alert. And then open up your pause menu, and you want to go to online, choose character. And in this, you want to delete your female character. From here, you want to return to story mode. And once you load in, you want to start up a new online invite only session. And you should spawn in with the outfit you chose to keep at the beginning. So you want to go into the clothing store and save this outfit. And you'll notice all these outfits from the female have transferred over. And you do not want to get in the way of those so save your outfit to the last slot. So slot number 20. So for the first outfit which is a checkerboard one. Uh, you want to go into outfits and go up to biker suits. And equip the black biker suit. And you'll also need an earpiece for this next bit, so if you don't have one, uh, you will need to purchase one from any ammunition store. And all you want to do from here is open up your pause menu, and go to online jobs, play jobs. And you want to go on Rockstar Created, and go on Versus, and start up Crooked Cop. Now in this menu set a clothing to player owned and then you will need to invite anyone to start this up. So this can be a randomer or it can be someone helping you. And once you're on this you want to go into owned outfit and scroll 2 to the right. And you should get this outfit so ready up. And 
But once you load in, equip your earpiece using your interaction menu. And from it, you want to go to the clothing store in the mission. And once you're down here, you want to make sure your earpiece is still equipped and then quit a job using your phone. And once you spawn in, you want to go to the clothing store. Also, if you want to, you can remove your earpiece. And then just go save the outfit. And by the way, you want to save this outfit out of the way of all the others. So save it out of bottom. Uh, so you're going to do this with all the outfits. You will need to save them all out of bottom. And once you've saved it, delete the two outfits you used to make this one. Now for the galaxy alpha, you want to equip the black biker suit. Then you want to start crooked cop. Now in this menu, set the clothing to player owned, and then you will need to invite anyone to start this up. And once you're on this, you want to go into owned outfit and scroll two to the right, and you should get this outfit so ready up. Once you load in, equip your earpiece. And from it, you want to go to the clothing store in the mission. And once you're down here, you want to make sure your earpiece is still equipped and then quit a job using your phone. And from it, go to the clothing store. Also, if you want to, you can remove your earpiece. And then just go save the outfit. So just make sure you save this outfit at the bottom. And once you've saved it, delete the two outfits you used to make this one. And for the black joggers one, you, uh, you also want to equip the black biker suit. However, if you wanted to, you can use an orange racing jersey. So it's really up to you which one you prefer. Uh, but anyway, from here, you want to start Crooked Cop. Now, in this menu, set the clothing to player owned, and then you will need to invite anyone to start this up. Now on this menu, go into owned outfit and scroll two to the right, and then ready up. And once you load in, equip your earpiece. And from here, you want to go to the clothing store in the mission. And once you're down here, you want to make sure your earpiece is still equipped and then quit a job using your phone. And from it, go to the clothing store. And then just go save the outfit. So just make sure you save this outfit at the bottom. And after you've saved it, delete the two outfits you used to make this one. Now for the final outfit, which is a white Tron outfit, uh, you will have to go into outfits. And go up to deadline outfits. And you will need to equip the white deadline outfit. Then from it, start Crooked Cop. Now 
file in this menu, set a clothing to player owned, and then you will need to invite anyone to start this up. Now on this menu, go into owned outfit and scroll two to the right, and then ready up. Now once you load in, equip your earpiece using your interaction menu. And from here, you want to go to the clothing store in the mission. And once you're down here, you want to make sure your earpiece is still equipped and then quit a job using your phone. And from it, go to the clothing store. And then just go save the outfit. And that's all the outfits complete, so hopefully you enjoyed them. And feel free to customize them as much as you want to. And that's going to be it for this video, so hopefully you enjoyed, and if you did, please leave a like down below, uh, but of course you don't have to if you don't want to, but anyway, thank you so much for watching, have an amazing day or night, and I will see you all in the next one.